Watching this Goatius Maximus ticker has actually been insane, or it's actually called Goat is the ticker. I talked about this on my channel last week when it was at $150 million market cap. And while this came off of Pump.Fun, which that's usually an insanely high market cap, it's currently sitting just under an $800 million market cap. Now I'm aware just throwing around the term market cap might not be for everyone. Let me put this in a more clear stance. This was a 5X from my original observation on YouTube which I made a dedicated video about again six days ago and then mentioned it the video the day before that. But this 5X is more than just catching a pump fine at like a smaller market cap and selling it at a like slightly larger one because there's a lot more liquidity. I mean, you can see in real time right now some pretty massive sells coming in relative to Solana. I mean, a 52 Solana sell, there is $11 million in liquidity. This means that people could one clip hundreds of thousands of dollars at a time and not really affect the chart too much. Where Whereas if you sell even a couple thousand dollars at one of these lower market caps, it affects a lot. So what's the overarching point of this video? I am really bullish on the state of the market. While it's not super easy to navigate, I think that we are getting closer and closer to being able to find life-changing opportunities like this one. I'm gonna just kind of reinstate this with some of these tweets that I found today. One of my favorite is Crash, who's actually the creator behind Brett, uh, the number one meme coin on base. No pump fund launch has ever made it to the top 200 coins yet. That's actually kind of insane to think about considering all things that have been migrating recently easy put it like this but basically we are hitting new all-time highs on tokens launch but also that are graduating and going to radium what this means is let's go back to bull x which by the way bull x is the platform that i use uh, my link is always in the description i'm also recently a partner with bull x that doesn't mean they're the sponsor of this video but they are a partner but yeah so this page that says pump vision uh this kind of comes directly from pump fun uh, pump fun is basically a place where people can launch new tokens immediately uh they've been coming out with a lot of new things like as of yesterday they came out with the ability to tokenize videos and this actually started a brief meta to where people were essentially posting videos and these videos were tokenized on pump fun which again i usually use i usually find with filters on bull x uh, some of the filters i like to use uh, i kind of change them around is i liked it to be under uh, over an 8k market cap i like to look and see you know if it's bundled or not this one's actually bundled so this is a really good like real-time experience what that means is you see a bunch of similar buys coming in right now and this is while I'm recording this video as well and if I were to leave this chart up for just a bit basically it would do these really small transactions back and forth back and forth it would wait for one sucker to buy and it would just do an immediate red candle I'll actually give this a second just to show you a real-time example of this <laughs> There we go. Uh, so that's what a bundle looks like. I uh, told you it was a bunch of little small. It was one big buy, a couple big buys, and a little small, 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 small. So that's how that looks like. Anyways, we're going to move on. We're going to talk more about GOAT. As I said earlier, GOAT surpassed a $700 million market cap at its new all-time high after migrating on Pump Fun. Uh, even major influencers like Ansem are talking about GOAT to his Maximus, talking about how it feels very similar to Pepe APR 23 to him. Uh, came out of nowhere, went way higher than anybody expected it to. Um, and basically he's saying it's different because AI meta has more like holding power. And uh, Zeneca, another big influencer, basically replied saying yes, but even Pepe was kind of mid bear where Bitcoin was at 28 K. So again, just to be able to see these tokens go from this, like just created to literally almost a billion dollar market cap is absolutely insane to see. And I think we're going to see it a lot more often, literally every single day, there is a life changing opportunity. I mean, Flavia yesterday hit $59 million. This was like an AI girl or something. I don't even remember the narrative, but it was a decent narrative. Rick roll. Remember the videos that I was talking about? It hit 2.2 million, which isn't too crazy. Uh, as we said goat just has been on a tear and there was actually some other ones last night this was actually posted i think like probably last night um there's going to be more updates i really like mellow metrics for these updates uh, he does them every single day kind of waiting for his today but there's a couple more cooks last night that ran to multi-millions uh the day before that there was fun and all that so how do you find this stuff so i have two different directions here i want to give just some general like ai tokens that i'm looking at that aren't really small market caps but like i think could do well and i'm also going to say 
say uh, how you find this stuff early. Now, of course, I don't have the magic ball, magic eight ball. I mean, we don't know what's going to be the next cook. Literally last night, I had an awful trade. I was in the middle of trading. Uh, this is the chart. I found this Wolf AI token where there's literally a automated Twitter and a bunch of people in a space barking like a dog. I bought this at like a, I don't know. It wasn't, this buy isn't accurate. I think I bought it at like 130K. Um, it immediately, they closed the spaces and I thought they rugged and I sold for a loss. So I bought $83 worth. I sold $25 worth, which isn't crazy. You know, I sold for like a $60 loss or whatever that is. And immediately it goes to like ridiculous 521k market cap and it's currently sitting at 326k. I think this token's dead. I wouldn't touch this, but that's just an example of like you, things can go south and you literally never know. And these charts are so scary because for every one of these AI tokens that goes from zero to millions, there's like hundreds of hundreds of them that go straight to zero and never recover from zero. I've been talking about this one for a while, but this base AI is by the OG Pepe coins. It's different than regular Pepe. I'm not going to go into the detail. It's actually on a huge dip right now. 53% in the last 30 days, which really surprises me. They're actually going to be a layer one decentralized AI blockchain. And I think that it's going to run. It has a cult community behind it currently under a hundred million dollar market cap. I think that one's a clear, like if this all goes the way that it should go to me, this looks like it's really prompt up for success. But again, who really knows about these things, but that's one that I'm watching turbo. I have a horror story of turbo. I've already shared it in one of my last videos. If you want to go actually hear that um, while turbo is just been on a tear as well up literally almost 10,000 percent for the last year i think turbo it was basically consider the first ai token i think there was other ai tokens before it but i mean honestly it has the dominance of the first one as the household name of the first one so i think if we're going to see these insane valuations turbo is going to like remain in the equation that being said i own base ai i do not own any turbo um a little bit more risky one that i've kind of i've also not in yet but i kind of want to get in is this shagath uh this is one that frank d gods has been sh uh, shilling uh and a couple of other influencers and basically they're trying to make this like the the um the doge of ai memes uh currently at 37 million which is actually kind of crazy i've been watching this since 5 million and i've never bought so it feels bad man um long story short this shagath is like supposed to represent how basically humans still kind of control the uh, narrative of ai and how it doesn't have the freedom of to actually express how intelligent it actually is. Um, it's kind of like a deep lore meme uh, that people build on. I am going to be very interested to see if this kind of gets like household name because right now, even though it's at 36 million, it's still mainly just, you know, people in crypto that are trading it like that are like heavily in crypto. I don't really think this has hit the goat levels. I think goats being bought by people that probably aren't in the space and might just see AI token and, and buy it. when I say not in the space, like they're not like deep in the space. Space. like obviously they're deep enough to be able to buy goat um but i don't think they're like spending all their time on you know discord telegram and twitter trying to find the next ticker so as far as where to spend your time you want to find the next goat i'm personally involved with nrn it's a free discord i'm actually going to share a clip from last night of me trading the dog ai that i mentioned that i thought was kind of funny you can let me know if you think it's funny oh the dev sold his tokens oh at the bottom at four no just like that's that's who was dumping the last wave it did hold for a long time, though. <laughs> yeah, and by long time, we mean five minutes. <laughs> Get the tokens 15 minutes old. <laughs> Bro, held for a really long time. I don't know. Pretty good. <laughs> probably, it's probably Chris. Chris. Yeah, he's like, I don't know. The yeah, devs, good, yeah, devs sold pretty good, bro. Still Dev based. <laughs> Dev seems like a cool dude. <laughs> <laughs> At least he waited five minutes before he rugged me. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he gave it. A, he gave it. A, it's worth some toast. Good old college try. Good dev. <laughs> I do have a telegram uh, that I make calls in, but it's like, again, it. I'm not gonna call these like really low market cap ones because I don't wanna get people burned. So I usually wait and give it time. Like Shagath is one that I would probably talk about ahead of time, even though I haven't talked about specifically that one, but I'm not gonna say that you're gonna hit the next 1000 X in my telegram. Um, my telegram is really like news oriented. I do talk about tokens that have potential. Basically the job is to kind of give you the information to make your own informed fair decision like these videos. It's not like, hey, go buy this. 
it's 100k going to a mil or whatever uh so definitely nrn discord i'm currently in canto discord as well that's been one i've been kind of close to with my uh my friend ash that one is a paid one usually with the paid one you get access to a bit more tools a bit more people grinding um i can obviously leave a link below um you know if you want that and uh, i did a whole series on spending a week in an alpha group i spent a week in potion uh, i don't really want to talk about that in this video it was it had its pros and cons you can go check out that series as well so again it's been nearly a week since my goat video uh six days since this one and i did a one before that uh, ironically they put they had pretty low views i mean 887 on this one and then the other one just had like a couple hundred well whoever makes it to the end of the video i love to give a shout out so the last keyword in the last video was cat toto nailed it uh knx nailed it uh simon nailed it kuya carol i'm so bad with names maybe this is part of the fun as i can't even pronounce show by visi batusa i think i liked all of them too ruby and b pal congrats to you guys for making it all the way to the video i don't know how you guys do it that's freaking insane if you made it to the end of this video then the keyword is going to be dog